a very good day to everyone and our lecturer Ms. G. My name is Mama Aki Bilipi. I'm from the FTC. My metric number is 10 dash 19 f 1112 Today we will discuss and talk about process and procedure that take place in the house. So without wasting more time, so let we go through. Process and procedure in warehouse are also known as flow of operations. Basically, there are a lot of flow of operations in warehouse, but for my part, I will just cover five and the others will be covered by my pen, which is cut in. So, as you can see, the first one is receiving. Receiving is refers to the where all the goods coming from outside and outbound of the warehouse enter into warehouse. The stage is clearly wanted and required proper documentation such as way bills, food delivery notes and custom clarifications. Unable to do so, the storekeeper may refuse to accept. The second step is put away. Put away is refers to food has been dispersed continuous and regularly. For example, once the good has received from the receiving dog, the storekeeper will move it one by one into the related place in warehouse. The third step is refers to the storage and pallet retrieval systems. After the good has been dispersed continuously, the good will be stored according to the excise and quantity. Basically, there are a few storage methods that we can use to store goods. For example, by using static shelving, mobile shelving, pallet racking, multi tier racking, floor measuring, and wire partition. Next, we go through about material handling. Alright, at this stage, it's required the use of MHE, which is material handling equipment. Basically, all and almost of operation in warehouse regarding receiving until the last, which is shipping. Are required the use of material equipment such as forklift, front loader, pallet truck, side loader, and so on. So it's important to conduct it with proper and carefully. Next, we go through about order picking. Order picking it refers to the way good has been stored for a specific period of time. In some cases, there are sums of the order person will store the goods for, for extend period for example 3 months or more so when the deadline is matures the good will be picked to meet a specific demand all right so we talk about safety and procedure basically there are a few criteria and aspect that must be considered in conducting warehouse activity such as the first one is fire safety. Smoking are prohibited inside of the warehouse. The reason is because there are some of items and product that contain chemicals and flammables ingredients that are easily to be exploited. At the same time, warehouse also must provide fire safety equipment regarding to the fire post, fire extinguisher and post equipment in order to reflect as the first actions of unnecessary incidents happen in the warehouse. The second one is physical security of building and container. It refers to the physical structure of the warehouse in order to avoid any loss of items, especially stealing of the product in the warehouse. The warehouse must be built with minimum access regarding to the windows and door. At the same time, the house can, cannot be at the same time, your house cannot ignore emergency access. And the lastly is safety in handling equipment. Every person who are in charge in warehouse, especially storekeeper and their workers, must wear personal protective equipment and understand and clearly understand the use of MHE, material equipment such as forklift and others, as I already mentioned in early of our discussions. And at the same time, the warehouse also must provide safety and at the same time, the warehouse must also provide safety and have guide, guidelines or guidance 
in the warehouse so that all workers will clearly understand what are the actions that they can take and the other action that they cannot take. And the conclusions, apart from logistics, such as transportation, supply chain, and import and export, warehouse operations is the one of the most important that ensure logistic process can be done efficiently and effectively. That's it. Thank you. Very good morning to the lecturer and my fellow friends. Firstly, I need to thank my miss to give me this opportunity. My name is Kartik, son of Sadashivam, and my metric number is 10 DLS 19F1109. Today, I would like to talk about a uh, flow of process and then provide two safety precautions of the process. I am choosing process flow of operation in warehousing to present today. First flow of operation warehouse is packaging. Packaging is the warehouse process that consolidates picked item in a sales order and prepares them for shipment to the customer. One of the primary tasks of packaging and wrapping is to ensure that damage are minimized from the times item leave the valves. Additionally, packaging must be light enough so as not to increase the weight of the goods and minimal enough to control packaging cost. Okay. Second flow of operation valves is broken case picking. Broken case picking also commonly called piece pick, each pick, broken case or loose pick is one of the most intensive labor process in the modern distribution center. The labor want to isolate the product where damaged and broken. The labor also want to record the loss item in the issuing paper. Next, flow of operation valves is sortation. Sortation is accumulate and picks more than one item to be sorted. Unit sortation system designed to handle itches are more common. Sortation is the process of identifying item on a conveyor system and diverting them to specific destination using a variety of devices controlled by task specific software okay sorter are applied to different application depending upon the product type and required date okay additionally placement also a flow of valves operation placement refer to the place where the goods safe before to be loaded. The placement must ensure that the warehouse business is loaded reasonably close to the shipping area. To ensure timely and cost effective deliveries, okay, there are many opportunities for speeding and efficiency of loading work. Okay. Final flow of operation warehouse is shipping. Shipping is the final warehouse process and the start of the journey is good from the warehouse to the customers. Shipping is considered successful only if the right order is sorted and loaded is dispatched to the right customer, uh, travel through the right transit mode and is delivered safely on the Time. Last but not least, I want to explain about safety and precaution. First, safety and precaution is physical security access. Entrance and exit door of the warehouse should be guarded with a physical access control system that updates over the air to ensure the IS protection. 
standard and only authorized personnel should be admitted at any time. Don't allow visitors to room in the warehouse without supervision. Vehicle loading should be done through separate channel for better warehouse security. After this, loading bay must located a bit away from storage area to better security management. This is followed by safety and precaution of follow flow of operation in the warehouse. Second safety and precaution is physical security deterrent system. Okay, the CCTV surveillance life monitoring of internal and external activities and alarm system disturb and scare away when linked to the police station. Implement latest ITEC physical access control system with identity cut to need identify the person. Patrol traffic security must properly inspect the vehicle going in and out of the valves. Lastly, the security procedures and policies should be followed strictly.